Hello, welcome to the gas mod steady state hydraulic simulation tutorial video. We'll give an introduction to the gas mod software program, talk about the key features, and simulate a typical natural gas pipeline going through the actual gas mod screens and data entry. And finally, discuss the availability and pricing of the software. GasMod is a steady state hydraulic simulation software for long distance gas transmission pipelines. It can quickly simulate natural gas and other compressible fluids flowing through a buried or above ground pipeline. It can perform quick pressure drop versus flow rate calculations in short pipe segments. It can also be used to perform cost and tariff calculations for pipeline feasibility studies. It's easy to install and runs on computers with Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7 operating systems. Let's talk about the key features. GasMod simulates steady state single phase hydraulics of a gas pipeline, taking into account the heat transfer between the gas and the surrounding medium in English or SI units. It has a quick start option for quickly building a pipeline model and simulating steady state flow with specified compressor stations and MAOP limits. Gas can be injected or delivered at various points along the pipeline. The gas composition may be specified or alternatively the gravity and viscosity at the inlet. Pressure drop formulas include AGA turbulent, Colebrook White, general flow equation, IGT, panhandle, and Weymouth equations. Compressibility factor options include standing CATS, AGA, and CNGA methods. Multiple compressor stations may be modeled up to a maximum of 50. You can simulate the gas pressure and temperature profile along the pipeline calculate compressor station horsepower or kilowatt required and the fuel consumption. Gas mod can model pipe branches and loops off the main line. Calculate the line pack along the pipeline. Plot the hydraulic pressure gradient as well as the gas temperature profile. You can also determine optimum locations of compressor stations based on a certain flow rate, maximum discharge pressure, and the compression ratio. In addition to the hydraulic aspects, some additional features include the calculation of the capital cost of a gas pipeline based on material and labor costs of pipe, compressors, valves, and other materials and equipment costs. Calculate the annual operating cost based on the fuel consumption and O&M costs. Finally, estimate the cost of service and tariff for conducting feasibility studies. Let's take a look at the GasMod user interface. The initial screen shows the copyright and the licensed user information. And the introductory screen shows you the five easy steps to get started. First, create a new pipeline. Number two, set up the global parameters under options. Next, choose the gas flow rates and locations. Next, define the compressor stations and finally start calculations. Let's take a look at the menu structure here. On top we have File, Edit, Options, Station, Gas Flow, Conductivity, Branch, Run, Graphics, and Help. Under the File menu, you have the usual New, Open, Save, etc. Edit menu has the usual Cut, Copy, and Paste. Under Options, we have Selection of Units, where you can choose English or SI, and choose the units for distance in miles or feet, flow rate in millions of cubic feet a day, and so on. Under global parameters, 
you specify the maximum gas velocity, the K ratio, pipeline efficiency, choose the pressure drop formula such as Colbrook White, AGA, etc. Choose the compressibility factor option, standing CATS, CNGA, and AGA method. Specify the base temperature and base pressure. Have an option of including the Joule Thompson cooling effect and incrementing the case number. The quick start option is for quickly building a pipeline model. The stations menu gives you compressor stations, locating compressor stations, and valve stations. Gas flow is for specifying the locations and gas flow rates. Conductivity for specifying the thermal conductivity of the pipe, the soil, and the soil temperature. The branch menu is for entering information pertaining to pipe branches of the main line. Run is for starting simulation. And graphics is for choosing pressure gradient and temperature gradient. The vertical menu on the left also has some of the, some of the same items. The pipeline menu is for selecting or choosing a new pipeline, creating a new pipeline, or choosing an existing pipeline. Stations for specifying compressor station information, flow rates for gas flow rates, conductivity for thermal conductivity information, the calculate icon is for calculating or starting simulations, reports is for viewing previous reports, how do I is a help screen, and exit will exit the program. Let's look at an existing pipeline. It starts at milepost 5, ends at milepost 420. It has diameters of 18 and 16 inch. The MAOP is 1440. The pipeline originates at Compton and terminates at Harvey. We expect a delivery pressure of 500 psi at the end of the pipeline, a minimum pressure of 400 throughout the pipeline. We're going to hold the delivery pressure at the end of the pipeline. Let's look at the gas flow rates. At milepost 5, which is the starting point, we have an incoming flow of 150 million cubic feet a day. We have specified the specific gravity and the viscosity and the inlet temperature. At milepost 85, we have a takeoff of minus 20. Finally, at milepost 238, an incoming flow of 10 million cubic feet with the same specific gravity, viscosity, and inlet temperature. We could choose a different product or specify a composition for the gas by pushing F3 and choosing pure methane, San Juan gas, etc. In this case, we'll choose San Juan gas, click OK. That uses the properties of San Juan gas in here. The moment you save this screen and go back to it, it would have changed the gravity and the viscosity pertaining to San Juan gas.